Hey there, friendlies, how's up? Sorry, but it's like 2.15 in the morning. Oh, which makes it Christmas Eve, so happy holidays. This is a redux version of my Canoe Hound uh, cocktail. Evidently, Dennis liked it. Yeah, he texted me a, a picture, <laughs> um, I guess about a week ago, and said, hey, check this out. I used mead instead of the honey syrup. So, challenge accepted. I'm gonna see how this tastes. Picked up a, a bottle of mead um, today, in fact. <clears throat> now, I don't have my workhorse bourbon with me, which is the Woodford Reserve Straight Bourbon, uh, and at the SAQ, they were out. So I'm trying this bullet. I popped it open and I gave it a smell, uh, a little taste, and I think I like it quite well. So I'm, I'm okay with, with using that instead of the Woodford in this case. So we're going to start with our Clementine. And since we're doing a drink called a Canoe Hound and it's all bushcrafty and Canadian, it's the Canadian belt knife we're gonna use. Boom, gonna show that. All right, let's just get rid of the tip top. One for the garnish, one to muddle into the bottom of the mixing glass. So, first off we do our little muddling as last time. Oh, I just totally... <laughs> it's early in the morning guys and I've been up forever. Just a light muddle, as I always say. You don't wanna destroy it. You just want to express the oils and the juices. Uh, move this aside for now. Over there. Next up, we got a three quarters ounce of Aperol. Three quarters of an ounce. There we go. Ting. And then we got us the mead. Clean off the knife. How much mead? Quarter ounce of honey syrup, so we'll go for a quarter ounce of mead because we don't want to dick with the uh, recipe too much. Now this is irritating because this is all waxed on there. Now, one thing I do want to say is uh, mead, like many alcoholic drinks, um, comes in many varieties. No two meads are really alike. Some meads are very sweet, some meads are actually quite dry. This one is of the sweet variety. <laughs> and I'm sort of just hoping that that's what Dennis's mead was as well. Quarter ounce. Boom. And then, a full ounce of the Bourbon. Just double checking my recipe here, just in case I'm messing it up in some way. I have been known to do that, because I'm a total pro here, guys. And then, get some ice. I also forgot the tonic water. So, throw some ice in the bottom here. So what you want is about 40 um, strokes. How you'll know it's down to temperature is that you're gonna get a lot of condensation down here. That looks about right to me. Okay, so now, got our glass, getting some ice. Okay, so, citrusy magic, big block of ice. Not a bad idea when you've been muddling fruit to double strain so that you're catching any potential um, 
pulp that may be swishing around in your mixed beverage. Shaky poo. So, the next thing to do is to top it up with your tonic. As you guys well know. Right up to the top. And give it a taste. Dennis, that's pretty sly. I, I like what you did with this. That is tasty. It's definitely boozier. The honey syrup has no alcohol in it. The mead, what is the ABV on this? 16%. I mean, it, look, it's not a whiskey, right? Um, this is a very traditional mead, by the way. It's medieval. But I don't, I don't know if it's sold outside Quebec, to be honest. But any sweet, yeah, this is an extra sweet mead, full-bodied, like they drank in the time of nights. Anyway, it's a very traditional, very old-fashioned kind of mead. Got a real sort of thick sweetness to it. Yep, I like that. Dennis, you sly dog. That's a good, that's a good, like, a redux on my my recipe. I may just do it like this from now on. Mm. Nice. Okay. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing here, then please get the conversation started down below this week. I don't know. Give me a cocktail idea, guys. Let me know what you want. This worked out really well. And it was completely based on Dennis saying, oh yeah? You want to make cocktails? Try this. So send me some ideas. Uh, if I can get the main ingredient in Quebec, I'll try it. Aside from that, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And of course, the third thing, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. And happy holidays, everyone. <laughs>